Hello, my name is Jonathan Sheen. I'm a co-founder of Apex Capital Investments, and this is our intro to GAM Exposure. To start off, what is GAM Exposure? GAM Exposure is a way for retail to track what is called dealer positioning and or delta hedging. If dealers are long gamma or positive gamma, they are long stock and short calls. Positive gamma environments mean that dealers are buying the dips and selling the rips, thus decreasing the volatility within the market. If dealers are short gamma or negative gamma, they are short stock and short puts. Negative gamma environments mean that dealers are selling the dips, buying the rips, thus increasing the volatility within the market. Understanding this is super vital. If you do not know what shorting options are or selling to open options are, please read up on that or trying to understand the concept of gamma exposure will be very difficult. Moving on, understanding what dealer positioning slash delta hedging is. Delta hedging is when dealer positions themselves in a net zero delta position. Delta neutral is a portfolio strategy that utilizes multiple positions with balancing positive and negative deltas, so the overall delta of the assets totals up to zero. This may be confusing at first. If a position is delta neutral, then how do institutions actually make money? This is where understanding how selling options actually works. They make money actually off credit. To simplify this in a numerical perspective, let's say dealers are long gamma. This means they are long stock, short calls. Now let's say they choose a short call with a delta of negative 0.65. This means for every dollar the stock moves, the options contract will appreciate or depreciate $65. Now in order to offset the situation to remain delta neutral, meaning if the stock moves down $1, how many shares do you need to offset a $65 depreciation? 65 shares. Dealers will need to constantly balance their book by either buying or selling shares in reaction to delta constantly changing meaning if delta of a short call goes to minus 60, they would need to sell five shares to be delta neutral. So continuing forward with the presentation, we're actually gonna take a look at the SPX chart as well as a screenshot at 6.30 of our gamma exposure bot. So to verify, this is timestamped currently right here at 6.30 a.m. So to start off the day, when I see a gamma chart like this, the thought process that I typically run through is that, okay, where are the big gamma walls today? So not only are walls used as support and resistances, but they are also used as magnets, especially if they are the only one that's spiking and it's very far away from the money. So as you can tell, we opened right here. The gam the SPX spot is at 4155 um, and we notice that right here, there's a big wall at 4,100. So I'm going to mark the 4,100 level at the chart and use that as my price target. It may seem very, very simple, but this is actually as simple as it can get, right? This is the best part about Gamma. This is why we love this tool um, for zero dated expiration trading. It is fantastic. It's probably and going to be the best tool that you can use. So with that being said, what I also notice is that, okay, we have a Gamma wall here a very small one at 41.55. We have another one here at 41.25. So I marked them on the chart here, as you guys can already see. The reason I did that is just so I can take note of trim areas as well as potential bounces. So as you can already tell from the chart over here, right, 41.50 is marked right here. And then the going forward, what I typically like to do and how I treat these situations are, okay, we have a 41.50 gamma wall. This is where price action concepts come in hand, right? So we finally break below this 4150 around the open. However, we launch right back up on the retest and break above and come down. So in my head, I already see this as choppy, right? However, the 4100 being much bigger than everything else on the gamma chart tells me that, okay, we're probably going to see 4100. There's a very, very, very high probability that we see 4100 today. Um, so how to capture this move to 4100, especially with the gamma walls at 4150 and the even smaller gamma wall at 4125. How I typically like to trade this is, okay, I'm going to wait for break under and then some form of a retest or a hold. In this case, we got a retest right here and we rejected the 4150 gamma wall perfectly and we leg down. So in this situation, I probably, if I'm being honest with myself, would have entered around here, you know, break of low of day, as well as a rejection of the gamma wall. This confirms some form of a continuation. However, let's say I missed this move. Another price action concept comes in play here. 
we have this previous support right here, right? That we can wait for a re-entry. And guess what? We come up, we retest it, and we reject. I'm going to take puts at this point with trim levels at 41.25 because number one, that was the gamma wall from earlier, right? And guess what? We hit 41.25 perfectly. Now, the next step is, okay, keep in mind in this situation, 4,100 was the biggest. So yes, I'm trimming at 41.25 to, to book some profits, but ultimately I'm holding runners all the way to 4,100. In these certain situations, we always typically like to put a five to 10 point safety net. The reason we do this is because dealers may close their positions or close the leg of their option a little bit earlier, just because we got relatively close to it, right? The Delta was good enough for them. The premium that they sold was good enough for them. So they close it. Going forward, let's see what happens. Once again, we break below this 4125. However, once this isn't a very big gamma wall. So to me, this is all, this entire section right here around 4125 is really just noise to me. I'm ultimately targeting this 4100 area right here, right? Uh, on, the, on the chart. Sorry, I drew a circle, but you guys get what I mean. This is essentially how you trade gamma. You utilize it as magnets, you utilize it as price targets, you utilize them as support and resist resistances. Gamma has changed the way I've trade completely. I don't chart at night like everybody else does anymore. I go into the day brand new, fresh with zero bias. Um, the reason that this is super helpful is because typically a lot of traders you know, tend to fail because of bias. They enter the day thinking that, oh, um, we might have a bullish breakout of some sort. We might have a, you know, a bearish flush of a certain level. However, levels are automatically defined for you intraday. On top of that, you don't have to worry about what's going to happen overnight because you're here to capture the move intraday. And that's pretty much what Gamma really helps you with. It helps you define certain levels in the beginning, certain magnets as well. And you just play off that. This is a very simple method. Um, Gio and I, my partner will be teaching different methods of how to trade Gamma. However, this is the simplest form of it. Thank you for listening to the presentation and I hope you enjoyed.